All right, first and foremost, I want to give all the honours, the praises, the glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour. His name is Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Mahavah, Kakwadash. Name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Son's name is Yahweh Shai. And who I reverence, honours to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. Because you know we're living in the last days of the last days. And um, this lesson. It's going to be called a pulling, what the pulling down and casting down strongholds. And we're going to find out what them strongholds are. Right? This is 2 Corinthians 10. And jump straight to verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we have fleshly bodies. Alright? We do not war after the flesh. We're not warring after this flesh. This war is not in, it's not in the flesh. The war is, is, we don't war after the flesh. We're not trying to satisfy us and appease our flesh. Right? Because the flesh is just a, it's just a body for our spirit. Alright? For the weapons of our warfare. The, war, the real war is in the spirit. We do not war after the flesh. The war, war is in the spirit. It's not in the flesh. The flesh is just a suit for that spirit. And it says... For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Why? Because we have spiritual weapons that we're supposed to be using at all times. Are not carnal. Mm? We don't need to use no electronic weapons or radiate someone while they're sleeping. We don't need to do nothing like that. We just pray and the angels what, fight our battles. Okay? They receive our prayers. Okay, and it says, but mighty through the heavenly father to the pulling down of strongholds, pulling down. So when it says mighty, the word is mighty and it's pulling down strongholds. So them, what are them strongholds? Strongholds, towns, cities, entities. We're going to go into Ephesians, lower than Ephesians 6. These are the strongholds, lies, deception. Don't ever think you're teaching this word and nothing's happening. You pull down strongholds. Stronghold is a barrier. And there's also different strongholds. Witchcraft, that's a stronghold. Right? Okay. There's different barriers, altars. You pull down altars, you pull down demonic altars, demonic gateways, demonic bridges. You cut that down in the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Demonic, you know there's demonic bridges, demonic portals, and so forth. Demonic mazes, demonic bridges, demonic walls. You, you, you're, you're casting that down in the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. This is how powerful this word is. Right? Pulling down strongholds. So a stronghold city, you have a stronghold. That stronghold is a barrier between that castle or that particular town. Once that stronghold is broken down, now it's open to the enemy, right? So we're putting down, casting down those demonic strongholds and also the strongholds we can go to, the strongholds of our mind as well, because there's also certain strongholds, addictions, sin. These are strongholds, right? Patterns, these are strongholds, okay? Casting down, verse 5, casting down imaginations. So also casting down imaginations as well. Right? What people are thinking. Right? People's thoughts, people, people's innermost thoughts, that gets cast down as well. Okay? And it says Baba Kasha. Right? And every high thing that exhorteth itself against the knowledge of the Heavenly Father. Every high thing. Everything. Right, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of my shout. So we're also bringing your thoughts into captivity, or the scriptures are bringing your thoughts into captivity. Right, because someone may hear something and they may have, may have thought what they were taught was right, but then they hear these scriptures and think, "Oh my gosh, is that how it really is?" So we went to that. Let's all let's see what else we can go to. Yeah, there's many, there's different various strongholds. 
Go to Ephesians now, Baba Kishra. We're going to, we have to fight the enemy with these words. Right? This is how we come at the enemy, with these words. Let me put this on. Right? Yeah, they're sending the, they're sending the kiddies over here, man. Right? Bear me just a minute. That's what they do. Right? But guess what? We're caught, listen, we're casting down all their strongholds. All, every single demonic stronghold, every single demonic portal, every single demonic barrier, because witches, they deal with warlocks, they deal with barriers. Right? Remember, these are the gatekeepers of darkness. We're casting that down in the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. Whatever you shall bind upon earth shall also be bound in heaven. So we're binding that. But everything these people do, we're binding that. All their witchcraft, all their sorcery, right? Satan will try to give you an image as well, a false image. You bind that. You cast it off. You don't accept it. Bind all these things. A stronghold is a pattern. That's what a, str a stronghold is a vice. That's why it's a stronghold. It has a stronghold on, uh, on someone. Right? That's why you have to change pattern. That's why you have to be reborn again. Go to Ephesians now. Six. And ten. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, Jehovah Shai. And in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the heavenly father. That he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So, it's like you, when you're putting on the jacket, right? You're warm. You're protected. So, we need the armor and the full armor. That you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So, the wiles are his tricks. So, this devil... He comes with tricks, and that word for wiles is methods, methodia. So this devil, he comes with wiles, he comes with tricks, he comes with shenanigans. So how are we able to put that out? Through this truth, right? His wiles, right? Wiles is tricks, Greek, methodia. So he has different methods on trying to entrap you. And it says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So this is more than flesh and blood. It says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Remember what the scripture said in Corinthians. For we war, we, we, we war not after the flesh. We're not warring after the flesh. Right? At all. We war not after the flesh. And it says, Baba Kishar, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Bro, it's nothing to do with the person. The person, the person is just a vessel. Satan uses vessels to come at you. You... Once you see that, you have to attack that spirit that's within that person. You have to, that's what you have to come at. Attack that principality that's coming against you. Right? And, but, against principalities, archetype, archaic, high level. These are high level, these are principalities, idols. That's what you got to come against. You got to come against that principality. Right? You gotta come against that principality that's using them. That's what you gotta pray against. And yes, you can cast it down, you can bind it. I've seen some videos right, of certain Christians saying, Oh, you mustn't war, you mustn't fight, you mustn't war against the scripture says it in Ephesians 11, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. A wrestle is a contest, right? A match of who's gonna submit. So the principalities, they're against you, they want you to submit. So you got to wrestle, right? Type in that word wrestle. It's a contend, right? When you're wrestling. You try to pin your opponent down to the ground. Get him to submit. So you, we, bro, we're in a war against principalities, bro. High level spirits that the elites don't deal with and they send out into the world. So you got to cast that principality down. Whether it be Jezebel, whether it be Lilith, cast that spirit down in the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. I bind it in the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. I bind the spirit of Jezebel. Jezebel will have no rule over my life. I bind it in the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. I cast it down. Right? That's how you got to approach this. And against powers. So there's also powers that are at work as well. So corporate entities that are working against us. Right? That's why certain things don't always go smooth in our life, right? And against rulers of darkness. So you also have those that rule over particular regions as well. Regions, provinces, and they practice dark arts, okay? 
and against spiritual wickedness in high places. So we're also against spiritual wickedness in high places because this all starts in the heavens, man. It all start. This all start in the heavens. So this this is the battle. Okay. In high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God. When our armor it covers you. So when the armor ain't on, you're 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 susceptible to any attack of the enemy. You put on the armor, and you try to keep it on. You may take it off for a little while, but then you put it back on. Right? Sorry, I'm just getting passionate about this, bro. This is serious. This is serious. Right? And it says, Baba Kasha. Perhaps you may be able to withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. Truth is a defense. And having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Shod. Equipped with this gospel of peace. Shod. Put on. The devil hates, you know when you speak about the gospel, the good news, the devil hates that. That's what you speak about. You, you present truth. His whole thing is to hinder you from speaking. Right? Above all, taking the shield of faith. It says above everything else. Shield now. So you don't, don't, you don't just have armor on, you also have a shield. So what's shield? Shield of faith. It's faith that's going to shield us in these times. That's what shielding up, faith of in Yahweh Shai. Without faith, you're not shielded. You're open to the enemy. And that's why the enemy, what does he attack? Faith. And it says, check this out. Where we shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. So there's fiery darts being shot of the wicked. Fiery darts. Right? Fiery. Okay, fiery. So them fiery darts are being shot. Okay. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the heavenly father. So the words are the most important thing. Be equipped with the words and know how to apply the words according to the situation you're in. And that will help, that will quench them fiery darts. Right? And take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit. So this word is also a sword. Go, read Hebrews 4 and 12. This word is uh, quick, sharper than any two-edged sword. Quick, powerful, divine, a son of soul and spirit. Searching the intents of heart, man, woman. Which is the word of God. Pray always with all prayer. One thing the enemy hates the most, he hates when you're praying. Because when you're praying, guess what happens? He can't do as much as that he would like to do. Satan hates when you're praying. He hates it. That's why you gotta pray. Because praying is our defense. And when you're not praying, you're left to the enemy. And you don't wanna be left open to the enemy. So that's why prayer is so crucial. And when you're praying, Certain things get quenched, like them fiery darts of the enemy, they get quenched. So we want to pray to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for that defense, for strength, for my mental fortitude. And therefore, Satan hates that. He doesn't want us to pray. And when you're not praying, guess what? You get weaker. That's why you get, because you're not praying. And that's the connection. Okay, let's go. And it says, Baba Kishra. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching there unto with all perseverance and supplication for the saints. Make sure you're praying continually. Is there going to be moments where you f where you may feel a bit well? Ah, that's I don't my prayer my prayer ain't really where it should be. Yeah, because Satan he's going to try to hinder that prayer. Of course, it's not always going to be hundred percent, but you pray because you have faith. So pray. Right, we're going to shut off soon. And um, the stronghold, right? Romans 7, right? I heard someone say, I was watching a bit of TBN. I heard a man say, um, you don't need to pray. What? One pastor say, you don't need to pray for help. It's, Bro, are you crazy? Bro, in the scriptures, it's, it's all about prayer. Have you read Psalms? These are praying for help. Who said, Bro, what are these pastors teaching you, man? One, one pastor said, 
Oh, you never pray for help because no, you're obedient. No, obedience is praying as well. That's part of obedience. Right? Some of these pastors, they don't know what they're talking about. They're misleading you. Of course you pray for help. Let's go to Romans. Pray is crucial. I want to go to Romans 7. And concerning um, this strong man, Paul even spoke about this. Romans 7. And get straight to the point. For I know that in me, that in my flesh dwelleth. Right? No good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. So Paul was speaking on his battle in the flesh and the spirit. In me is no good thing. He wants to do the right thing, but sometimes it's hard. For the good that I would do, I do not, but the evil which I would not, but I do. Now if I do what I would not, it is no more I that do it, but the sin that dwelleth in me. I find in the law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. When I would do good, evil is present. It's there. It sounds like a familiar spirit, right? Evil is present with me, even when I'm doing good. That's a stronghold. That's some type of stronghold. Right? And it says, Baba Kusha, now if I do what I would not, it is no more that I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Right? For I delight in the law of the heavenly father after the inward man. So in Corinthians scriptures, the inward man is renewed day by day. Right? Okay. Is your, your, your new man. But I see another law in my members, my flesh. That's a stronghold. Right? In my flesh. Right? Bear me just a minute. I see another law in my flesh. Hold on, hold on. Another law in my members, which is the flesh, warring against the law of my mind. See, now you have another law of the flesh, which is do anything, feed the flesh, and you have another law of your mind. And your, the law of the mind is wanting to serve Yahweh Shai with everything. Right? And bringing into captivity the law of sin, which is in my members. See? So the flesh, all the flesh wants to do is sin. You have to separate the two. The flesh is, the flesh, this flesh is wicked. Look at this flesh, the flesh is wicked. It ain't gonna do you no, no good, all right? Oh, wretch man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this body of this death? The flesh ain't, nothing's good about the flesh, it's the spirit, all right? So that's how we're warring. The scriptures we war not of the flesh, but of the spirit. We're casting our strongholds. Satan, he has, how does he get a stronghold? Through your flesh. He can through your mind, but it's the flesh he operates upon. And you can also get a strong um, stronghold on your mind, but that, that's that if you let him, if you open up a doorway. That's why you have to pray. I thank the Heavenly Father through Yahweh Shai, our Lord. So when with my mind I serve, with my mind I myself serve the law of the Heavenly Father. But with the flesh the law of sin. So Paul was very honest. With my mind, I serve the law of Yahweh Shai, right? But with my flesh, sin. Because the flesh is all, no matter how righteous you claim to be, li listen, living in this kingdom, no one can say they keep all the laws. You know, if I look at a woman, she might not even have a ring on, wedding ring on. I look at her, might get a, a feeling, oh, she's nice. How do you know she doesn't have a husband? Right? How do you know the food that you eat? It may say no, no, no gelatin, but it does have gelatin on it, right? Public transport, you sit on a seat, women, you don't know this is what woman sat on that seat that had a period. Bro, there's constant laws we break every day without even knowing, right? That's why Paul said that I serve the law with my mind to the best of his ability. Because if it's down to the flesh, bro, we'd all fail, right? But that shows you the strongholds, right? You have strongholds and there's different forms of strongholds so we really have to be honest with ourselves and break these strongholds as it says in corinthians man because this word is mighty to the pulling down of strongholds so we're pulling down strongholds and barriers and demonic walls right that's what we're pulling down and witchcraft as well Sorcery, we're putting down them strongholds through the spirit and power 
of Yahweh by Sham Yahavashai, Bahasham, Waha, Raka, Kodash. And Lord willing, this was edifying. And you brothers that are struggling with anything, pray to Yahweh by Sham Yahavashai and he will come through for you. But let it be done in faith, nothing wavering. Until the next time, Shalom.